So Friday afternoon, after another busy week, uh, I left uh, North Wales for London on Sunday evening uh, because I have a WIPS meeting first thing on a, Friday, on a Monday morning, uh, but this week I also had meetings at the Wales office. Uh, it's clearly been a busy week because we were expecting the uh, European Withdrawal Bill to be published on Thursday and there was a lot of preparatory work to be done in the Wales office because after all, it's not every week that you announce the bill that will see us leaving the European Union after 44 years. So that happened on Thursday. By that point, uh, we'd spoken to stakeholders in all parts of Wales, including here in Abercrombie, uh, so that they knew roughly what was in the bill and what was the intention of the bill. So that was the serious politics part of the week. But actually, one of the most uh, disturbing parts of the week was the fact that we had a Westminster Hall debate uh, in relation to the orchestrated abuse of political candidates by uh, opponents uh, during the course of the recent election. And while some people are trying to claim that this is something that happened to all candidates, uh, there is little doubt that the upsurge in intimidation, in abuse of candidates has happened primarily uh, since the election of one Jeremy Corbyn as leader of the Labour Party. It started off by being an attack upon moderate Labour members who suffered greatly during the past year, uh, but during the general election it became an attack on Conservative Party members and that was articulated by uh, my good friend Simon Hart MP in a Westminster Hall debate where I felt very frustrated being a minister and a whip I wasn't able to speak. Anyhow, after finishing in London on Thursday I got back to North Wales and today has been a great day. I've been up in Spativan opening Llyn Conwy, uh, the new water treatment works that will ensure that there is a good supply of clean water uh, to Penmachno, Spativan, Betusakoid, so two and a half thousand people in total. And what is incredible is that since I've been the MP for Abbey Conway, uh, the Welsh Water have invested around 60 million in improving our water supply system. Now let's be honest about that. 60 million pounds of investment in a local factory, we'd all know about it. But when Welsh Water spend millions of pounds improving local infrastructure in Glan Conway, in Dolgarog, in Spativan, uh, we seldom realise it because we just take water coming through the tap being clean and easy to drink as something that should happen. Well, it happens because people work extremely hard to ensure that we do have a great supply of water uh, here in North Wales and it is provided by the investments being made by Welsh Water and I pay tribute to them. But more importantly, I pay tribute to the children of Spativan Primary School who provided the entertainment at the uh, official opening and they were just fantastic. Um, it shows once again how important small rural schools are to our community. And I'm now back in the office Friday afternoon, just had a meeting with a cabinet member from Conway Council to discuss local issues. I'm absolutely impressed to have all of these uh, from Scopod Avon, uh, which are highlighting the importance of ensuring that every child in every part of the world has A, access to a clean water supply and B, the opportunity to be educated. And sometimes when we complain about the situation that we face here in the United Kingdom, it's just great to see that local schools are highlighting to their pupils that yes, sometimes things are not perfect in Wales, not perfect in the UK, but compared to how things are in many parts of the world, we are very lucky to live where we are.